You know, you still haven't told me where your fascination with murder came from. I was five years old. We were summering in the Hamptons. I was pretty much left to my own devices. Mm -hmm. So one day, I was walking on the beach. I was miles from where I started. I was just about to turn back when I saw something that washed up on the beach. I thought, maybe it's a, a whale or a turtle or a sea lion. So I ran over to see what it was. What was it? It was a boy my age. It's our housekeeper's son. It must have just happened because the tide hadn't washed away the blood. We had just played hide and go seek the day before. What happened to him? They never found out. I'm so sorry, Castle. You made that up? It's what I do! You know what? You are so getting it for that one. The party is at 9 o'clock. Hey, I've been around. We've met before. Yeah. When you were about 10 years old, your mother took you to the library and you were looking for a book and uh, I gave you a copy of uh, Casino Royale. Yeah. That was you. That book made me want to become a writer. And you said you didn't want to remember. We went to great lengths to make sure that you didn't. But if you keep looking... There's no way in hell I asked for this. I'm sorry. But you did. I don't believe you. Hollander's Woods, Mr. Castle. That February day when you were 11 years old. What happened to you there? the real reason you became a mystery writer. How did you? I never told anyone about that. No. Not Beckett. Not your family. But you told me three weeks ago so that if this ever happened, you'd have proof. You'd know that you were the one who asked to forget. I asked for this. Some mysteries aren't meant to be solved. It's over now. Go home. Live your life. Forget this ever happened. It's what you wanted. I bought it a few hundred acres of a state forest called Hollander's Woods. We were told never to go into the woods alone. Somebody told you not to, so you had to do it anyway. I walked for hours. I was cold, completely lost. And that's when I saw him. A figure clad in black, kneeling. And after a few moments, he left. And that's when I saw her on the ground. Her? A body. First body I ever saw. Her throat had been slit, and those same symbols were carved into her forehead and her cheeks. I touched her arm. I remember thinking how cold it was. Tell anyone what you've seen here today, and I'll find you and kill you. Do you understand? Go! Why do you think he let you live? I don't know. I waited till I got back to the city to call the police from a payphone. I was too scared to let them know who I was. And who was the girl? That's just the thing. They searched the woods with cadaver dogs. They never found a body. So you never figured out who she was? I checked local papers. No one in the area had been reported missing. When I got older, I checked with missing persons, even the FBI database for anyone matching her description or any crimes involving those symbols or that mask. But there was nothing. It's like it never happened. And after a while, I started to wonder if it had. That day in the woods, Kate, that's why I do what I do. I'm driven to figure out the story because I could never figure out that one.